The conversation around liquefied natural gas in British Columbia was joined by a chorus of loud voices from the piece this past week when hundreds of people showed up at a truck rally in Fort St. John in support of the LNG project development. Rally organizer and vice chair of Fort St. John for LNG, Dan Davies, was overwhelmed with the response. Absolutely overwhelmed. I remember when we uh, first uh, invited uh, Bob Zimmer up and, uh, you know, we, we said we we're starting to plan a truck rally. We expect maybe around 200 trucks involved and uh, it'd be great to have them. And at the end of the day, I think we uh, ended up with a count around 580. So the response for the truck rally in such a short time of planning uh, was absolutely out of this world. It, it, it surprised and impressed and it was great, absolutely great. This rally gave residents of Northern BC a chance to show their support for the LNG projects and that they're ready to work. Well, the main purpose, I mean, we've just come to the end, the closing period of, for commenting on the uh, Canadian Environmental Assessment Agency's period for the proposed Pacific Northwest LNG projects. Uh, nobody has been unaffected by the slowdown in the gas industry in the Northeast. It, this is going to be the game changer. These projects, these LNG projects need to go. If we're going to be putting our people back to work, they need to go. So the purpose of the rally that we organized is to send a message or to help send a message uh, to Prime Minister Trudeau's government to say, you know, this is important to us. This is important to the livelihoods of our families, important to the livelihoods of our future. Uh, we need to get working. And, you know, beyond that, you know, there, there are naysayers out there as well. And, and you know, we, we often hear about, you know, the people that are opposed to whatever project. And, you know, they, they, they get together and they have similar rallies and stuff. This is a yes side. You know, this is, we understand the importance of LNG. We need to get the message across that yes to LNG. Yes to LNG means work. Yes to LNG means prosperity for our area. Yes to LNG means an improved environment for the world as we start converting some of China's coal-fired uh, uh, energy in, into our natural gas. This was the rally, this was the purpose for it, and it showed. There's uncertainty, obviously, um, but overall, as a rally, I mean, the, the whole purpose of a rally is to get people thinking in a positive way. And, you know, we, we left here uh, on the Alaska Frontage Road and went to Charlie Lake Boat Launch, uh, which is where we had a stage set up. We had, we had every level of government represented from our federal minister, our federal senator. We had our MLA there. We had our mayor there. We had the regional district directors there. We had everything. And it was such a positive response uh, hearing from the different government officials, hearing from some of the people that are involved in LNG, uh, hearing some of their stories and hearing some of that positive feel that there is some hope, there is some positive uh, feel that this is going to actually move forward. So uh, that's the purpose of the rally, to get everyone riled up and, and feeling good. So And hopefully we can send those vibes out to Ottawa. We, I'll tell you, uh, no comparison. Um, in fact, uh, Terrace, who initiated it, they had a good turnout. Um, I don't think they uh, made over, oh, I'm certain they didn't do over 100 vehicles in, in their uh, uh, rally. We did 580. Fort Nelson, you know, who's a much smaller community than us, I, you know, they're under 3,000 people right now. Uh, you know, they pulled together over 300 vehicles as well. So, you know, the, the response up here in, in, uh, in the Northeast, uh, between Fort Nelson and Fort St. John, it was just absolutely out of this world. Knocked it out of the park. You know, the, the eyes in the sky, it sure gave, uh, you know, especially when, when they went up and, you know, looked across. And, and if we look behind us here, I mean, this was the rally point. You know, we had this road, we probably should have, but we had to close the road down because we had so many vehicles show up. Uh, it went right down to the East Bypass Road and then went, we, we were parking vehicles along the East Bypass Road all the way up beyond the hospital on the East Bypass Road. That's the volume of, of, uh, of trucks. We were hoping we'd get to 87th Street just over here, but again, we, we uh, surpassed that uh, unbelievably. So it, it was amazing. Like it, it was an amazing spectacle and, and certainly watching the video and, and watching social media yesterday. Um, I, have, I don't think I've ever seen our local, you know, local uh, pages bloom 
I guess is a good word. Everyone was talking about this rally yesterday. There wasn't one person in Fort St. John that wasn't talking about sharing a picture, sharing a thought, sharing something, you know, that was uh, to do with this LNG rally. And Ben's uh, video there was, it, it certainly, uh, certainly had some positive impact, huge impact on, on seeing the sheer volume of vehicles from here all the way to Charlie Lake. In fact, when we got to the boat launch in Charlie Lake, vehicles were still pulling out of here. So that gives you a bit of an idea how large the volume was from Fort St. John all the way to Charlie Lake was trucks, about 15 kilometers. So if you, you stretch it out, it's like I say, it's, it, uh, uh, Fort St. John did us proud. Davies says these projects are definitely needed to help the region's economy. Certainly one of the messages that keeps coming across, we had this rally yesterday, uh, kind of, to, you know, to, to, to show that the Northeast is, is wanting these to go through, needs these to go through, it's, it's essential. But this isn't over yet. We need people to actually continue to rally. We need people to continue to send, uh, send messages to, to the Prime Minister's office, uh, to the Environment Minister's office, email every single day. Uh, have have organizations get together and and send send letters. Um, this this isn't over until the announcement is made, and we need to make sure that we have a loud voice, um, uh, you know, a voice that knows what we're talking about because we know what we're talking about. We, we know how to do natural gas in the Northeast, and we need to make sure that that message is clear uh, all the way to Ottawa, and, and hopefully we get a positive uh, a positive response as as early as next week. I understand it might be coming, so um, let's cross our cross our fingers. Fort St. John's Eagle Vision video production was on hand for the event, and here are some of the highlights and comments from the rally. Fort St. John began as a trading post in 1794. It's since grown and has established itself as British Columbia's oil and gas capital. One of a handful of BC cities north of the 55th parallel, this community lies at the heart of the majestic Peace Valley where breathtaking mountains and scenery surround the tapestry of life here. The beauty of our city isn't only found in our mountains and rivers, but also in the friendship and care displayed by those in our community. In a town where most of the population is transient, it's difficult to predict just how many people will turn up to a community event. But when tragedy strikes, the residents of Fort St. John can always be counted upon to go above and beyond to help their neighbor. Fort St. John never ever ceases to amaze me and uh, you know this is just an, an absolute uh, testament to, to how much the folks in this region uh, know the, the value of uh, LNG to our uh, area. This is a great uh, great rally, we you know we were expecting on short notice maybe a couple of hundred people, something like that. It looks like it's going to be somewhere north of four, five, six, seven hundred people before we're all done. So uh, like I say, one week and uh, short notice, it's fantastic.
remarkable. This is exciting. This is a community saying we need our government to pay attention. need to have mom and dads that have jobs, family supporting jobs, and that what L that's what LNG is all about, it's family supporting jobs. The federal government says they're going to go out and borrow 30 some billion dollars to actually kickstart the economy. All you got to do is say yes and it'll kickstart the economy and give those jobs to people that need it. We always see the environmentalists get on TV or they get on uh, letter writing campaigns about how bad energy is for everybody. Well, this is the opposite conversation we're having today. I think LNG is actually good for the environment. If you want to you want to give China fresh, clean air to breathe, you give them BC LNG. Absolutely. But the challenge for, for me and the Prime Minister, to the Prime Minister, do what's right for BC, do what's right for Canada, and do what's right for the world. Uh, sell them BC LNG. We all got to work together to enable us to go see the future, to see the future for our kids, to feed our families, put food on a table for all of us. And that's what we're here for, and that's what this is all about. You are experts in your field, and it just amazes me how every day we are able to extract and produce natural gas safely and transport it safely because you know what you're doing. And it's, imp it's impressive that you've all come out here to show your support for this, um, for this industry that must happen. On this stage, you have leadership and representative from folks that live in the rural areas, folks that live in the small communities, the larger communities, First Nations communities, our province, right on up to the federal government are representing. That's how important this project is to this country. The world needs energy. We are sitting on a world-class, clean energy source. And it, the most responsible use for this uh, energy uh, source that we have is to get it out to the world. But if we can get this clean energy out to the world, they're able to, to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that they've got and the potential for global climate change. Yes, energy! Yes, energy! Yes, energy!